In the previous video, we looked at factors, and we looked at the numbers 8, 9, 7, and 1, and found the factors of each of these numbers. Okay, so remember, factors are numbers that go into uh, the numbers that we're looking at, cleanly, without a remainder. So 8 had 4 factors, 9 has 3 factors, 7 has 2 factors, and 1 has only 1 factor. Now, there is a very special type of number that is hidden within these four, and that is the number 7. The number 7 is an example of a prime number. Now, there are different ways of explaining what a prime number is, and you might have been taught it in several different ways. So one way is a uh, prime number is a number that can only be divided by 1 and itself. Okay, that is one description. The way that I like to think of it is that prime numbers have precisely two factors, 1 and itself. Okay, so they have two factors, and that is what gives them this, uh, well, this special status, if you will. So prime numbers have two factors. So not 8, it has four factors, so it's not prime. 9 has three factors, so it's not prime. 1 has only one factor, so 1 is not prime. This is the number that is often confused to be prime, but this is why it isn't, because it only has one factor when a prime number needs two. So what are the prime numbers? So we've already met one of them, and that's 7. Well, the search for prime numbers is ongoing. And you know, it seems to be that every year or so, um, a new prime number is found that is larger than any other that has already been found. We know that there are an infinite number of them. But thankfully, you don't need to know all, all of those, right? if there was, in fact, a, a limit. Really, you need to know uh, the prime numbers up to around about 30, I would say. Okay, That would be my preferable amount. So, how are they found? And how are they identified? So, this comes into play with um, something called the sieve of Erastathenes. And... This is a Greek mathematician who looked at a list of numbers. So I'm going to write the numbers from 1 to 30. Bear with me. You might want to forward this. Okay, I wonder how many have skipped ahead. If you didn't skip ahead, well done. Okay, so here's the numbers 1 to 30. And how it works is that you say to yourself, right, well, the, the next number that I come across in the list that I haven't crossed off must be prime. That is the concept. So we already know that 1 is not a prime number. Okay, so we can already scratch off the number 1. Then, um, the next number that I come across must be prime. So 2 is prime. 2 is the only even prime number, okay? So it is very special. Once I've circled that number, I cross off all of the multiples of 2. So remember what multiples are. The two multiples of 2 are the 2 times table. So 4 goes, so to 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20... 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. So a lot of numbers have got crossed off already. And so you would keep going if you uh, wanted to do like numbers 1 to 100, for example. So the next number that I come across must be prime. So 3 is the next prime number. So then we must cross off all of the multiples of 3. So 6 has already gone, so the next one will be 9, 
then 12, then 15, then 18, then 21, then 24, then 27, then 30, etc. And the next number I come across must be prime. So then I cross off all of the 5 times table, the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 goes, then 30. So the next number I come across must be prime, and that's 7. And then you have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, etc. And you keep going, and what happens is you end up with these numbers. In fact, these are the only ones that are left by the time I get to 7. And these are the first few prime numbers up to 30. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. So it is best that you would know these numbers and be able to identify them. Okay? So if I gave you the numbers from 1 to 30, you would be able to circle which ones are prime. Um, now, a good rule of thumb that helps in identifying prime numbers um, is knowing your times tables. So if I uh, came up with a number like um, 81, for example, then knowing your times tables, 81 is 9 times 9. So 9 is a factor of 81, so 81 can't be prime. But 83, for example, is a number that is prime. And the way that I would know that 83 is prime is because, um, well, 83, rule of thumb, like, is a number that I cannot think of or remember ever coming up in one of my times tables. And that is a good telltale sign that a number is prime. I mean, you can't rely on this all of the time, but it is a good way to go with your gut over whether a number is prime or not. Clearly, if it is even, and it's not two, then it can't be prime. Okay, so there are easy ones to spot that definitely aren't prime, but some odd numbers um, you might be unsure of. So 31, for example. Okay, so it is just a case of being able to identify reasonably up to the first, uh, up to 29 would be good.